All right. So I learned all this in a very hard way, you know, from QA to QA lead, I'm going to discuss about a roadmap for advancement in this video. All right. So if you are a inspiring software tester, or if you are a manual tester or anything, right, you want to become a QA lead and all, this is the exactly video that you needed. I'm going to discuss about very honest review, right? What exactly things that I have done it to become a QA lead? What are the different responsibilities are there for the QA lead? How you can basically excel, right? I think I have done decent job right now. I'm a manager. So, but again, so a lot of QA leads right now I'm handling. So I definitely can help you in this point. All right, let's get started. Awesome. First of all, when you start your career, right, you become a QA engineer, then you become a senior QA, then you move towards a QA lead. Right? This is where the responsibility starts, where it is basically a combination of technical skills, leadership abilities, and domain expertise. You know what? Everyone has a technical skills. Most of you, you will have a technical skills because you are already a QA, senior QA, right? You have technical skills already with you, right? Domain expertise, I think you can basically recognize during this, but leadership ability to take initiative, right? This is what the most important thing for a QA lead that is there, right? So second important point I would like to discuss is take up the leadership opportunity. Even before becoming a QA lead, right? As a senior QA, you have to take the leadership opportunity. Trust me, no one will give you opportunity. You know, when I have started, I used to take initiative, right? Okay, guys, let's do one thing. Let's create this thing and all, right? I used to mentor them related to the API testing and all, right? So no one will give you opportunity. It is you have to basically take the opportunity and take the initiative as a QA lead. To become a QA lead, actually, this is what you need to do. That's exactly which I want to basically give you as a point. So an important point, which is gain the practical knowledge on working on a different testing projects. Whenever you are into a QA lead position, right? I think apart from the technical knowledge, domain expertise is where you can help your team. You can mentor them and you have to believe them that this is a combined team. This is not an individual team right now. This is a combined team. And as a combined team, we have a certain task we need to do. For example, we have a hundred test cases to do it within a span of one week. Suppose this is a five people team and this is the target that we have. So what happens is you need to tell them there is a, there is a guy who's a fast who can do 30, but there is a guy who will do five also. So we have to internally manage in a better way. And we have to increase that person, which is doing five to 10 and that person who's doing 30, right? Increase them more like do it 32 or something like this. So you have to take it all of them as a upward. This is very, very important as they lead. I think this is one of the skill that you will automatically acquire even as a senior QA also. This is what you need to do, right? So that is very, very important. Apart from, see, I'm not discussing about the technical aspects because technical aspects are more important. I'm discussing about leaderships and uh, the initiative part, which is more, more important, right? What I used to do, right? Another important thing, you know, I always started the initiative. This is very, very important. I generally bring ideas to the team. Bringing the ideas is very important. Sometimes as a QA lead, you will not bring ideas. You will take out the ideas from the people and you will tell them, let's implement in this way, right? So this is what you need to do. Either you will give the idea or you will take out the idea from the team itself and do execute it, right? Let me give you a very simple example on this one. So when I was in Wingify, right, we were thinking, okay, which, which automation framework we should choose? We should choose Protector or there are other JavaScript frameworks and everything, right? So what I did is I did a small POC around Protector that was Protector was very good for the Angular application at the time and everyone was happy and they were said, okay, let's go with that. This is how you can take initiative and you can do it. So that's how I have helped them. Like, okay, this is the boilerplate. Now let's start contributing to the test cases that we want. So this is how we have done it. So taking initiative, leadership skills and domain expertise, all these are important skills for the QA lead, right? So this is what I've done. Another important point, which is related to the technical aspects, right? You have to acquire more and more knowledge. You have to increase your skills. You know, when I was a QA lead, I was talking to the developers directly. So they are very much aware about the different CI CD pipelines, how Jenkins are basically running, how production is getting deployed. They actually wanted me to do certain tasks also, for example, deploy this branch. They even approached me to write some unit test cases for some code also, right? So this is what we have done it. And this is the same thing learning that I have, right? I was able to mentor my team also. So the learning here is do some extra effort, whatever that you are doing. So what if you have a team, you have to basically give them more and more opportunities, more and more what we call learnings, more and more mentorship, right? You know what? I have even taught people about the API testing in within my company. This is what I have done. So I hope this is very important and communicate effectively within the team. If you have some issues, there are people who have some issues and all right, ask them what, how we can resolve them take out the questions and answers from them only. That is the most important thing. Trust me, everyone will have the answers also, how we can sort the problem within the discussion, communicate properly, how we can basically remove the problems or blockers that we have within the, if you want to do some projects or anything, right? This is how you will basically more and more uh, recognize your skills in this case, right? Overall learning in the conclusion, I would say no one will give you opportunities. You have to take them, take initiative, right? Build a career, increase your technical skills, improve your skills, let do CI, CD and everything, discuss with 
with more people discuss the leaders how they are helping it mentor your team communicate effectively this is all the things are combined are called as the QA lead trust me it will be helpful for you I hope this video helps job ready automation tester July batch is already starting make sure you are joining it the link in the description do check it out click on like button if you are new to the channel please subscribe I create videos around this over testing and health I'll see you in the next video